Hello everybody, my name is Kendra, I'm a second year fashion marketing student at the University of Winchester and I'm making this video just to tell you my reflections on my first year at the University of Winchester. To make it easier to follow, I've split this video into four sections, halls, social life, academics and what I would do differently, halls. So one of the most important things you might be thinking about as a prospective student is halls, where are you going to live during your first year? There are quite a few options at the university. The three main areas of accommodation are Burma Road Student Village, West Down Student Village and Queen's Road Student Village. It was quite hard for me to pick which one I wanted to go for as they all had things that I really liked and things that I didn't like so much. In the end I went for Burma Road Student Village. Um, I chose this because they had a bigger kitchen space and a smaller bedroom. Although the bedrooms are smaller you can fit everything in there, it's like a TARDIS. I really enjoyed my time at Burma, it's right in the middle of the main campus so you're close to the library, your classrooms and all the activities going on within the campus. Also an important thing to note is that the West Downs accommodation is on the business campus and Burma Road and Queen's Road are both on the main campus. The business campus is for courses such as marketing, business, accounting, law. It is quite easy to get from one to the other so I was fine living in Burma and just having to walk up a little hill every day but that is something I would recommend to think about if you are applying to accommodation here. One thing I'm really proud of is that I got my application in really fast. I applied for accommodation in the beginning of December which put me quite near the top of the list of getting which one I wanted. All of the accommodations are lovely, I have friends that applied for one and got a different one and is actually really happy with that second choice. Now for social life. I knew going into the university that it wasn't a party city, some may say, but that didn't bother me too much as I'm not a massive partier anyway. But there are quite a few events on. For example, the Vault, which is on campus, and they have events on most days of the week. There's a quiz night every Tuesday, which me and my flatmates loved going to. There's a movie night every Thursday, and of course there is Bop every Wednesday, which is a very popular event. So if I was going to do it again, I'd make sure to get there a lot earlier some days. There are also brilliant transport links to Southampton which is only about 20 minutes away by the train. Winchester is such a beautiful old city as well, I discovered there were so many pubs and like little cafes to go to with my friends, so it was definitely a nice surprise. Having different things to do instead of just having to go out every night like a lot of people think you have to do at university, which you don't. One thing I'm really happy that I did and would definitely recommend to anyone coming to university, wherever you are is to try and make some friends beforehand. I made quite a good group of friends on our Facebook group of freshers the summer before I came to university. So when I moved in in September, it wasn't so daunting. It wasn't as much of, I didn't know anyone because I had some really good friends that I'd spoken to for months. And I was just really excited to meet them for the first time. So it took away that fear of not knowing anyone. At the Freshers' Fair in Freshers' Week, I joined the Tennis Society. There are two levels of this society. There's the team and there's the social. I definitely couldn't make the team even if I wanted to but the social side of it was a brilliant two-hour event on a Sunday where you would just go with other people that enjoyed tennis, didn't matter about your ability and it was really good at meeting new people, speaking to people in the years above me and just really becoming more of a part of the university. The next area I'm going to talk about is academics. I think everyone finds the reintroduction to education quite different, just getting back into the swing of being at school can be quite difficult. I personally had 12 hours of contact time a week, which was split into an hour lecture followed by a two hour seminar. The lecture was more for being given the facts and figures of the course, and the seminar was more for understanding it better. There's a lot of independent study at university, and although the level of reading can seem a bit intimidating at first, you can get on with it very quickly. One thing I found very important for me is to get a planner or some sort of organiser to help you with your work. The difference between being at school and being at university is there's no one there to make sure you're doing everything right. It's a lot more on your own shoulders. So I found by having a plan that I could keep a record of what had to be due and when and it really helped me when it came to my end of year essays as well. And when it comes to the essays, I think it's really important to try and finish a week before the deadline at least. This will give you time to look back over it, make any changes, make sure you've followed everything right as opposed to rushing it at the end just to get it submitted. It's really important you develop the skills in your first year so you're not worrying about them in your second and third year. What I would do differently. I personally wouldn't do much different with my first year. It's so different to anything you've experienced before. It's not something you can plan out or organise to go a certain way. You just have to do what feels right for you. One thing I wish I had done more in my first year was explore more local businesses. 
Pinterest is full of different cafes and restaurants and shops and I know that in my first year I stuck to the chains that I knew from home. There's so many hidden gems around the city in terms of places to eat, places to go and just get some coffee. I would also try to meet more people from different courses and different backgrounds. I found in my first year I spoke to my flatmates a lot and my course mates. And there are so many different types of people at the university. I would definitely recommend going out as often as you can, even if it is by yourself, just to meet new people. And I think the most important thing is to just stay true to yourself. Don't try and reinvent yourself or become a whole new person. Whilst you may think that you have to act a certain way or behave a certain way because you are in this next step of your life, it's not always the case. There are always going to be people in the same boat as you who like the same things you do. I really enjoyed my first year. My second year is going brilliantly too. The time just flies a lot quicker than you think it will. So try and do as much as you can because before you know it, you'll be halfway through your degree like I am, which is a very scary place to be. <laughs> but yeah, my three top tips to anyone coming in is just to work hard, enjoy yourself and meet as many people as possible. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.